In the now over four years of reviewing accessories for Magic the Gathering, Pokémon, and other standard-sized trading cards, I have carefully evaluated and graded over 70 different brands and styles of card sleeve. There have been a few extraordinarily excellent products and many, many extraordinary failures as well as everything in between. But here, in this video, I will professorially pit the two absolute best brands against one another. That's right, it's Ultra Pro Eclipse versus Dragon Shield Matte. But no matter what, understand that these two are indeed the best of the best. And even though neither is perfect, I do feel that no other sleeve comes close to either. Both are top A grades, both are the best there is, and both are without any doubt in my mind the only sleeves you should consider when buying for Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, or other standard sized cards. There is simply no other alternative. Please note, this will be a brief summary review as each of these products have been reviewed at length previously. If you'd like to see the most recent full review for each item, a link to the original review has been listed in this video's description. One of the reasons why it is so hard to say which is better, Ultra Pro Eclipse or Dragon Shield Mats, is that they both are really, really good at different things. And they also each have some issues, but those issues are in very different areas. This means that based on your individual needs and preferences as a player, you may find one overwhelmingly superior to another, but that conclusion is going to vary from player to player. Dragon Shield mats are the thickest sleeve on the market. They are like tank armor. Their construction is solid and sturdy, and they rarely, if ever, split. Their matte back makes for an excellent shuffle feel. They also come in an incredible variety of colors, from bright, vibrant greens and pinks to deep, dark purples and blues. Dragon Shield sleeves can fit any player's style. Dragon Shield sleeves also have the convenience of coming in packages of 160 sleeve boxes. So you can sleeve up a commander deck or just grab a smaller box for draft. These little cardboard boxes are handy too as they can be used to store your sleeved cards. When comparing to Ultra Pro Eclipse sleeves, there's some strikingly contrasting qualities. Eclipse sleeves are not thick at all and offer a slim, sleek sleeve. Nonetheless, their construction is solid and sturdy and they rarely, if ever, split. Eclipses can pass a stretch test, while Dragon Shields cannot. But I feel I can say with confidence both have equal durability when it comes to splitting, assuming there are no defects, which is something I'll talk about in just a moment. The Ultra Pro Eclipse has far superior shuffle feel. It is the best on the market in this category. While Dragon Shields are still excellent to shuffle, they are nowhere near as smooth and silky as Eclipses. Eclipses have an anti-glare frosted front. Now this may be a very good or very bad thing depending upon your needs and likes as a player. The anti-glare front has a minimal yet noticeable dulling effect on the colors of cards. While very subtle on non-foil cards, foils are particularly diminished. And thus, any player who has a lot of foil bling blang will find eclipses to most, most certainly not, be their thang. However, those who do not like the reflective glare that sleeves such as Dragon Shields give off will find the eclipses easy on their eyes and potential headaches. Finally, for double sleeving, Eclipses are far superior to Dragon Shields. While you can indeed double sleeve with Dragon Shields, the tightness of the sleeves means the process is slow, and sometimes multiple attempts need to be made in order to correct for the inner sleeve slightly being pulled off the card. Eclipses sleeve up fast and easy, whether you are using KMC inner sleeves or Dragon Shield inners. Both sleeves are manufactured in countries which follow fair labor and safety laws. Dragon Shields are made in Denmark and Eclipse sleeves are made in the USA, a plus for both brands. So now we reach the most important part of this video, the things each sleeve does not do so well. 
Neither sleeve is perfect. There is no perfect sleeve on the market, and I am about to list the faults of each. But I want to be clear, and you really must hear me here. I consider these both to be A-quality sleeves, the best of the best, and essentially tied in terms of overall grade. What I am about to list are indeed faults, but that does not mean that the sleeve itself is not excellent at different things, and, as you are about to see, not so great at different things. Let's begin with the Dragon Shield faults. Dragon Shield sleeves are not fully opaque. This means that you can see through the backs of the sleeves to a certain degree, and thus this is unacceptable in many levels of tournament play. This may not seem like a big deal to many, and perhaps for you it is no problem at all. But being able to see through the sleeve, and therefore see the card back, and know whether or not you're about to draw a transform card, or that particularly scratched or scuffed older card in your deck, well, that's un acceptable enough to warrant getting a game loss in most events. Something I have heard happen to many, many Magic the Gathering players that use Dragon Shield sleeves over the years. Ask Wedge of the Mana Source what happened to him when he used pink Dragon Shields at a GP once. It did not end well. Now Dragon Shield makes a smoke inner sleeve that combats this problem. The smoke inners will allow a deck double sleeved using them in conjunction with Dragon Shield outers to essentially be fully opaque. However, most tournament grinders don't double sleeve, and I don't consider this an ideal solution, but it does exist. The darker Dragon Shield colors are acceptable, the purple and black specifically should not be a problem, but be wary and aware of all other colors, especially the lighter ones. In contrast, Ultra Pro sleeves are 100% opaque, even the white color. There is zero transparency whatsoever, and card backs are completely covered. Another issue with Dragon Shield sleeves comes from their strengths, ironically. I am referring to the thickness of the sleeves. Dragon Shield sleeves are so thick that some products and accessories are not able to work with them as intended. More compact deck boxes that fit double-sleeved cards can't always accommodate the same number of double-sleeved Dragon Shield cards. So, this this is definitely a problem, but it's a problem with the Dragon Shields, since these deck boxes will work with literally every other sleeve on the market except Dragon Shields. It's not something worth noting about every single deck box. It is, however, something worth noting about Dragon Shields. Be wary of that extreme thickness in terms of the sleeve. The only other issue with Dragon Shield sleeves are the sharp corners. This has been greatly negated in new versions, but there is still a remaining vestige of it. These overly pointed corners of Dragon Shields can lead to scraping on play mats and just detracting from the shuffle experience. And none of these problems exist whatsoever with Ultra Pro Eclipse sleeves. However, other problems do. The biggest and most significant problem with Eclipse sleeves is that of quality assurance. Remember when I said earlier that the sleeves do not split if they have been made correctly? Well, therein lies the trick, as Eclipses have certainly been hit with a series of QA problems since their second major printing following my initial review of them. Corners could too easily become bent, and splits occurred in these problem batches. Now, currently, Ultra Pro has overwhelmingly addressed these issues, and the new sleeves coming off the line do not appear to suffer from them. However, there is still an ongoing issue that is worth noting. Sleeves from different sources. What do I mean with different sources? Let's say you buy a pack of Eclipses from your local game store, and then you buy a pack off a random seller on eBay. If those two packs were produced on different tracks at the Ultra Pro factory, there is a small chance that the sleeves will not be cut at precisely the same length, meaning sleeving one deck from sleeves from both packs will result in, well, unacceptable length sleeves. Now, this problem is not always guaranteed to occur, but it happens enough that it can be frustrating for consumers. Dragon Shield sleeves had similar problems with sleeve length prior to their new factory and matte style, and as they were able to correct this problem entirely now, I hope that one day Ultra Pro can too. In the meantime, when sleeving up decks using Eclipses, ensure all sleeves come from the same source. Ultra Pro ensures that your local 
game store is only getting eclipses from the same track, meaning any packs you buy at your LGS will always be the same length. Don't mix eclipses from different stores or sources with the same deck as there is that small chance of error. In addition to these QA problems, there are very few minor things eclipses can do to improve. Offering packs of 80 does not allow for a lot of choice on the part of the player, and being able to offer instead boxes of 100 like Dragon Shield would be a great improvement. Likewise, whereas Dragon Shield has an incredible selection of colors, eclipses are still rather limited in these different offerings. Eclipses are still rather limited in these offerings. At least they now offer black, but hopefully more options are coming in the future. So which sleeve is best? I know the answer is going to be somewhat unsatisfying, but each sleeve is best at different things. These are, without any doubt, the two best sleeves on the market. There is no sleeve better than Dragon Shield Mats save perhaps Ultra Pro Eclipses. And there is no sleeve better than Ultra Pro Eclipses, save perhaps Dragon Shield Mats. People ask all the time, what do you, the professor, personally use with your collection? Honestly, I personally now use both exclusively. I tend to favor Ultra Pro Eclipses for double sleeving and Dragon Shield Mats for single sleeving. However, if I have a pimped out foil EDH deck, such as my Felden deck, I use Dragon Shields and double sleeves instead. So which of these two sleeves is right for you? Well, that's a question that only you can truly answer, but hopefully this video and my evaluation has helped you to come to a conclusion and to understand that conclusion. Along those same lines, out of all of these product reviews over all of these years, it is not my grade which is important. It is your grade, your opinion, your choices that matter. I seek only to offer as much as possible to aid you in that decision so that your cash can be spent effectively and hopefully never wasted. And thus, I hope this review video, I hope all of my videos, has been of some help to you. Thank you. And this video is brought to you by my and many other people's local game store, Card Kingdom, a brick and mortar pillar of this community, as well as the Patreon support of viewers such as you. These are the people that keep Talarian Community College going and growing strong. So thank you.